Alright guys how are you all doing today? You might notice that I am currently not in my house and you would be right on that. At the moment I am running through the hallways of the innovation labs because we have something really cool to test out today. So to give you a little backstory, I woke up this morning and right after waking up I got a call from Dr. Oswald. The doc asked me if I was able to drop by sometime today because he just finished a new project and he chose me to be one of the first to test this new prototype of his. Now obviously I got really excited because Dr. Oswald always has some cool new stuff for me to test out. So I guess this is where I am supposed to go, right doc? Dr. Oswald? I am sorry but I think there might be something wrong with our comm links. What where am I? Is this the machine? This is a bedroom. Dr. Oswald? Does anyone hear me? I guess I was right about the comm link being broken. I honestly have no idea where I am right now. I guess that is the bad part of the surprise. The doctor didn't tell me what kind of project this was, let alone that he told me that I would teleport into this place. This doesn't even look familiar to anywhere that I have been. Another lab? And who is Jake? I don't know any Jake. But he did mention a lab, so maybe I can find Dr. Oswald there. This all just feels a little out of place. Don't you guys think? It all looks kind of real, but I don't know what this would be. Did the doc actually just teleport me without telling me where I would go? Or did he put me into virtual reality? I guess I am not finding out without some snooping. There seems to be a pathway. Maybe we can follow that to the lab this Jake guy was telling me about. Alright it seems like there is something going on over there. Who are these people in the first place? Wait what do these people actually think they are my parents? But that aside, they also said something about a new professor in town. Maybe they are talking about Dr. Oswald. And what in the world is a Pokemon? Well that was certainly a weird encounter. Some strangers talking to me like I am their son. Why do all these strange things happen to me when I try to help Dr. Oswald out? I guess that is what you get for being a delight. Let's just follow those guys to that professor's lab. Maybe he knows a bit more of what is going on. I remember that time that I tried getting that new iPhone and that backfired. I recently went elevator shopping. All of these things usually end up with me getting in a load of trouble. You know that isn't my intention with the things I do. I should just be rewarded for being such a caring individual. Maybe we can get out of here fairly fast. Well this seems like your ordinary doctor's office. Although I have no idea what does animals in those pictures are. They look pretty realistic. Bet it is a great artist that made that picture. Professor Cypress right? That for sure is not Dr. Oswald. And we are in Middy's town? Where is that? I know I am not a walking GPS, but I don't think I have ever heard of that town. Must be somewhere in Arkansas. So he keeps rambling on about these Pokemons, like I should have an idea what that might be. I don't have a single clue. But I guess I will just check out these balls he keeps pointing at. You know I am not sure about all of this. Maybe he is just trying to sell me an expensive ornament. I am not hanging a hundred dollar ornament in my Christmas tree. I am not a crazy person. But I guess these little things look kind of cute. Are these the Pokemons everyone keeps on talking about? So these things are alive? Like animals alive? That is just strange man. But I guess I will just go with that flaming orange tail one. At least that one seems to have a little kick to it. Charmander the fire type Pokemon? That is a mouthful. Let's just call him Charmander or Char. I might just go with Char, quick and easy. So he just gives me one of those Pokemon, and he gives me this encyclopedia thing. All for free? Well thanks I guess. Now what can I do with these things? And how do we get back to Dr. Oswald? I appreciate the professor for his gifts, but I still have no clue where I am and where I have to go to get back home. I will probably check out that thing that he gave me. Maybe there is something in there that I can check out. Okay so to get to Char I have to go there. That seems alright. But now I guess I will just go out and explore a bit. Until I find some more news on the doctor. This guy again. He wants to battle. How are we going to battle? Like should I just kick his behind or what does he want from me? Pokemon trainer Jake. So this I suppose this guy has an idea of what he is doing. Well I don't have a clue so that is a good starting point. He will probably make me eat dirt. Oh wait he wants us to fight with their Pokemon. That is a little bit cruel right? But I am not losing to this little kid. Trying to be better than me. Not happening my man. There is a new king in town. Oh wow that is so cool. Char just spew some fire at that thing. That is so badass. Now let me see what you got Jake. 
try and beat that. I think that Jake guy has some confidence though, he just walks up to me outside of that house, expecting that I know him, and now he just asks me to fight him. That shows the kid has some courage. But courage alone won't win you this fight my man, you will need some strength for that. Oh no his Pokemon fainted, should we go and take it to the vet now? I don't know how this works. Wow he even gave me money because I won, I didn't know we placed a bet. Because I surely did not. Oh okay so you can just heal the Pokemon after a battle? That is comforting, I would not want my Charmander to be in pain because I am bad at fighting. And of course my fake parents again. Those creeps were waffing me the whole time I fought this guy. That is very creepy. So I can go now and roam around on my own. Or what? Oh no they are giving me something. A bronze brick? Is that a necklace or what? Seems kinda heavy to me. But thanks I guess. Now get out my way and let me just find the doctor please. I cannot be the only one here that has no idea what is going on. It is like I just woke up from a coma. And now the world is filled with these cute yet deadly creatures that battle for money. It is like the wrestling channel had a baby with Animal Planet. Weird stuff you guys. We will have to contact the doctor one way or the other. And of course Jake has got to give me his two cents worth too. Alright kid I just beat you what do you have to offer now? Oh okay that is pretty cool. The kid just gave me these balls. And he said something about catching Pokemon in the wild. Is that where these are for? Okay since we are done with that weird professor and those people who claim to be my mommy and daddy. Which is also pretty weird. I guess we will just have to carry on through the night and find some answers. You got these guys hanging out at the bridge, and this guy is offering me to heal my Pokemon if they ever get hurt. Well that is quite nice. Maybe this place is where I always wanted to be. But we still need to press on and find the doctor, or at least find a way to communicate with him. That guy looks a little bit too excited to see me. What is his problem? Bugs are the best Pokemon. What is this guy on about? It seems like all these people have been drinking just a little too much. And of course he wants to fight me. What else? I guess I cannot decline these offers. This seems like a violent town if everyone you meet just wants to let your Pokemon fight theirs. I feel bad for the Pokemon. Okay I guess I will let Char out of his ball. So we can finish this quickly. His Pokemon looks like a caterpillar. Who wants that? Mine is basically a dragon. Now that is cool. Right you guys? I bet my Pokemon is way stronger than his little bug. Okay look. That was just ruthless. He didn't stand a chance against my char. The poor thing. 7 to 35. So can I stop fighting now? I have had enough already. All these people coming up to me to fight their Pokemon. It is like I have nothing better to do. No no no. Please do not tell me this guy is coming up to me to fight. I swear I am just going to finish all of these Pokemon. I don't care anymore. Keep them coming. I will kick all of their behinds. Come on man. This guy has a raccoon. What is this thing going to do against my Charmander? Again, it is basically a dragon. He wants to find a dragon with a raccoon. There are no trash cans around here to hide in. The only trash I see is himself. Ha 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 get it? No? Oh well at least I tried. Well this Exagoon thing seems to withstand my attacks just a little bit better. But he won't fall to my Charmander. They all will. Oh that sounded a little bit too mean. I take that last part back. It is just that I want to find out what I am doing here. And these people keep standing in my way. Oh no you have got to be kidding me. This guy just ambushed me. I don't want to fight all these Pokemon. Just leave me alone. I am done with all this fighting. I just got to this town and I have already fought with three guys. And now number 4 is just waiting for me in my back. That is a low blow man. It just feels like these people don't want me here. Like I have to prove to them that I am worthy enough to be around them. I don't even want to be one of them. I just want to get out. How would you guys feel if you were just making your way downtown? Walking fast. Faces pass while you're homebound. And everyone you see comes up to you and starts to pick a fight. Like come on people. I just want to get one with my day. Wait a second. This actually does seem kind of familiar. I just do not remember from what. All of this reminds me from being a child. All these creatures. And now even Charmander seems familiar. But I still cannot quite remember from what. Didn't this used to be a television show? Yes I believe it was. It was called Pokemon. Now I remember. 
They also have games. Maybe that is what this is. Maybe Dr. Oswald got me in the game. But I do not think he can talk to me outside of the computer. That is a bummer. Okay so we got that sort of figured out. And we just kicked this trainer her butt. So now moving on I guess we have to just wait until the doctor thinks he has to take me out. And that might be a while because the doctor his coffee breaks are mad long. And do not even get me started on his toilet breaks. He will plant his butt on the toilet seat and it is like they are connected for eternity. You like have to get them off of each other with a crane. I wonder what has happened. Jake said he had no time to explain. Usually in movies that means something really bad has happened. Okay well I really don't care that much to be honest since apparently all of this is a game and as I said in the beginning, they are not my real parents, they are not even my fake parents, they are just some strangers in the simulation claiming to be my parents and now this professor expects me to go and save them. I am trying to save myself first, thank you very much. Some people just want to go home and get a nice warm shower but no, that is not the case with Mr. Sub-Zero. Because everywhere I go there seems to be a problem that I need to solve. And now this girl takes me into her home to tell me all about this team called Team Eclipse. Which if you ask me is a pretty dumb name. They probably got that straight out of a generator. And I bet that generator is called, how to name your team of bad guys, generator. Okay so blah 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 necklace blah blah. Wait what did she say about that necklace? She better give that thing back. Or I will kick her behind as well. But wait when is she gonna tell me about this team eclipse then? And off she goes. Of course. Because again, good things do no happen all too often around me. Okay so a quick recap for all of you who are just tuning in. My friend the doctor made me test a new machine. I spawned into this world having no idea what this was. And then to make matters worse. I had to battle all these people with my dragon buddy Charmander. Now if that does not sound bad enough. Then here comes the rest Jake. This guy who claims to be my best friend, just told me that me the people who claim to be my parents are abducted by a team of bad guys called Team Eclipse. Then this girl stole my necklace, and now we are in a hot pursuit going after her to get my necklace back. Oh and I almost forgot to tell you that I don't even care about that necklace, but she stole it, so she will get what is coming to her. Okay, so now you can see why I am getting annoyed. I am just trying to get my necklace back. And now student Spencer comes out of the bushes to tell me about night Pokemon, and of course he wants me to battle his owl, an owl who is pretty much shaped like a soccer ball. Come on Charmander let this guy meet his maker. Now let me just put it out there and say that I do not condone violence. But sometimes you now, people can be very annoying. And of course student Spencer has a lame excuse why his Pokemon did not perform the way he wanted to. Cool story bro, now let me save my so called parents. So I guess I have to find that girl and hope that she will take me to Team Eclipse so that I can save fake mom and fake dad. Oh my, give me a break. Charmander you now what to do little buddy. I wonder if any of you guys ever did something like this. This is not my first time getting stuck in some sort of simulation, sadly. But I cannot imagine that I am the only one that these things happen to. It seems like I am the chosen one for all these problems. But I do hope that you guys enjoy going on these journeys with me, so I don't have to do it by myself. Wait what? He wants me to battle two of his Pokemon? That is not fair. Where are the Pokemon rules? Maybe I should have checked those before heading out into the wild. Maybe next time I should not just click through all those terms and conditions. But ain't nobody got time for that. Though I bet that this little moon-shaped Pokemon will not be a match for my Charmander. I will be back home before anyone can say. Sub-Zero is the king of Pokemon. And elevators off course. Alright so we are done with another battle. And it looks like Charmander might have learned a new move. 
that is so cool. All of these fights are like taking candy from a baby and used to do that all the time when I was younger. I used to have so much candy that I am still eating them today. Nothing tastes better than fresh candies. And with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow or not. It depends on what time I wake up. <laughs>